Hi everyone and welcome to lesson number six, which follows on yesterday's. That one said, I am never upset for the reason I think. And this comes at it from a slightly different angle, which says, I am upset because I see something that's not there. And you go, what? What do you mean I see something that's not there? Of course I see something that's there. This is a really stupid exercise. Okay, stop right there. Remember, this is not about learning something. This is about rewiring your brain. We want to introduce the idea that I'm seeing something in this mix that's not there. We all in any given situation see what we see. And even when everybody's looking at the same scene, they can see something different. So somehow I'm introducing something. In this one, you want to say, I am sad about my family situation. Let's just make this one up because I see something that's not there. Or I am anxious about flying in an airplane because I see something that's not there. Now, this is the usual minute or two three or four times a day, just kind of randomly searching. Now, if a specific comes along, of course, apply it. For instance, a few years ago, the house across the street from me sold to new owners, and I purposely bought my house on a street with a lot of trees, being a big tree lover, and the new owner of this house decided that he was going to cut down all the trees on his property. And I live in an unincorporated part of the county where you don't have laws about needing to keep a certain percentage of the canopy. It's like the wild, wild west. You can do anything you want, including cut all the trees down. So when I came home and found this yard denuded of trees, I can tell you I felt like I wanted to cry. And I immediately had to put this into practice to say, I am so upset about all these trees being cut down because I'm seeing something that's not there. I was judging very much both the circumstances and the person who would do such a thing and so on and so forth. My judgment about that was introducing something. Now, don't let your mind go, but, but there were trees and you could see that there weren't trees. All you want to remind yourself of is remember our goal is our peace of mind. And I can't hang on to some upset like we think, well, I'll hang on to the small one and let the big one go or vice versa. They are all equally disturbing to our peace of mind. And remember, you can't keep some upset and let other ones go. This is just an all or nothing proposition. So this is a preview of coming attractions that if this is having me be aware that I'm seeing something that's not there, there must be something else going on that I am unable to see now, that I am blocking. Well, obviously I can't know what I'm blocking <laughs> until I know it. The Course says, this course is not about teaching the meaning of love because that's beyond what can be taught. It does aim, however, at removing the blocks to the awareness of love's presence, which implies, of course, that we inadvertently are introducing the blocks. So this is addressing this. This is saying, I'm upset because I'm seeing something that's not there. There's something about my judgmental thought processes that's introducing something that's not there. Remember, what I see and how I think are a seamless whole. So just be willing without trying to figure anything out to practice. I'm upset because I see something that's not there. This is an undoing process and this is to help with the undoing. Okie doke. Happy practicing. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.